Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Face Jasper, as always, and I am doing a full day of eating today. These are the macros on the screen. I'm gonna take you guys through a full day of eating. I am trying to cut down a little bit for summer, get a little bit more lean, get a little bit better looking. Best way to do that is count your calories and count your macros. So we're gonna do that today. Our macros for the day are 150 grams of protein, 280 grams of carbs, and 60 grams of fats. So we're gonna do that, and we're gonna start off with meal number one. It's 12 and we fasted until this moment. It gives us a little bit less time to eat, which is good because otherwise I'll just snack late at night. First meal of the day is gonna be some oats. I believe one packet of oats is about two grams of fat, 16 grams of carbs, and two fiber, three protein. Then we'll have the full package of blueberries, which is 125 grams. Now, it doesn't say any macros on here, which is really annoying. We do have a little app called MyFitnessPal uh, that can really help us out. So, fitness balance, actually, you can look up your food, but you can also scan the barcode, which is really, really nice. So, we're gonna put this barcode here. Searching, there we go, which uh, serving size is actually 125 grams, so we're gonna put that. We have blueberries here, which is 70.5 grams of carbs, 0.4 grams of fat, 0.9 grams of protein. It's done now. And I have these really nice that I got for my birthday. Thank you, V. Blueberries are so good, but they're also so expensive, it's insane. So we're gonna dump this in here, should be enough. The rest we'll just munch on. And last but not least, we have some sugar-free syrup to add to this to give it a little bit more flavor. So the blueberries pop in your mouth, which sounds really sus, I know. When they pop in your mouth, you get a flavor explosion, which is really nice. That's why I put them in after. A little bit of sugar-free syrup just add a little bit more flavor. This is our breakfast. I'll put the macros on the screen right now. All right, that's done. Now I'm printing an order because we still got some orders coming in. So I'm gonna pack that. We need a large for Nathaniel, my brother. We can bring this to the store so we can send it out. A little less than an hour later and we are having our second meal before the gym because we are hitting legs. At 2 p.m., it's one right now. We're just gonna add another food, which is gonna be this skier uh, protein yogurt. So we're gonna scan that as well. Bam, done. 500 grams because your boy is heating the whole tub. That comes around to 40 grams of carbs, zero grams of fat, amazing, and 46 grams of protein. High protein, high carb, zero fat. Woo! So yeah, we're totally on 650 calories so far. We have about 1,700 calories remaining. So um, yeah, I'm gonna eat this now, enjoy it, and then we're gonna hit legs. I'll see you guys in the gym. Back from the gym, a leg day. It was an intense one, and it's about 4 p.m. right now. Before we're having a bigger meal, I'm gonna have a six-layer birthday cake bar, because today is my protein's birthday, so we gotta celebrate, and they sent me a six layer birthday cake flavor protein bar. I gotta tell you guys, it's intense, but it's really good in my opinion. So let's scan it with our scanner. So 18 carbs, nine fat, which is kind of high, and 20.5 protein. Now, nine fat is high, but it's the first thing of fat that we have had to today. We're gonna have some more fat later at the day. Um, the last meal is gonna be a lot of, is a high fat meal, so. And then after that, we're gonna have some chicken, rice, and veggies because it's very important to get your veggies in. So post-workout meal, I do prefer a bar over a shake. I'm just kind of sick of shakes and I don't really like them a lot anymore. Uh, but a bar like this can get in my belly real fast and real smooth. Six o'clock right now, I am getting very, very, very hungry. So it's time to eat dinner because six o'clock is kind of a normal time to eat dinner and uh, that's why we're gonna do it. So classic, classic Jasper dinner, classic fitness dinner. Rice, chicken, and vegetables. Zero, and then we're gonna fill up the whole cup. 120 grams, 123 grams of rice. 89 carbs, zero fat, 9.2 grams of protein, which is really good. So this is a very high carb meal, obviously. 125, exactly, what the hell? Okay, 1.25 servings, four carbs, 2.2 protein, 0.1 fat. The macros on this are 1.4 grams of fat per 100, 23.9 per 100, so we have 150, which comes down to 36 
grams of protein and two and a half grams of fat. All right, this is what we have so far. We have 197 grams of carbs, 20 grams of fat, and 124 grams of protein. Mind you, for a total day, we need 280 carbs, 60 fat, and 150 protein. We'll probably go over the protein a little bit, so we'll have to uh, get rid of some carbs here um, because there's gonna be one meal that's gonna be very high in fat but also very high in protein. So we'll see how that works out in the end. So obviously the split uh, between carbs, fat, and protein is very important. Anyone who's cutting down and wants to preserve as much muscle mass as possible, it's very important to keep your proteins high, but it's okay if you do a little bit higher, that's no problem. Uh, just make sure your fats don't go too low because hormonal stuff and it will just not work as well and it just sucks and make, it makes you feel really, really, really badly. So we're going over the protein later tonight uh, I will uh, scoop down on some carbs. We'll calculate at the end how much I need for carbs uh, because when you go over protein, so one, one gram of protein is four calories, same as carbs. So it's very easy to manipulate those two, but at least hit your protein goal um, if you want to preserve as much muscle mass as you can. Alrighty boys, I am currently editing a video. But this is the final meal, this is my dinner. I added some sauce, which I already calculated. Um, I calculated about 10 milliliters, which came around about five carbs. So that's that, that's really good because we need carbs. And um, this just looks amazing. So I'm really excited to eat this. I'm really hungry. I'm gonna finish the video and I'll check in with you guys after dinner. All right, we uh, only have a couple meals left in the day or we actually have one left. But I wanted to break this down for you guys real fast and real simple. All right, so our goal macros are here on the left. Uh, this is carbs, protein, and fat. 280 carb, 150 protein, and 60 fat. Carb is four calories, as I said. A protein is well four, and a fat is nine calories. Hence why if you eat a lot of fat, you'll get fat because you eat a lot of calories. So we calculate that, we times it times four, which is, comes down to 1120 calories from carbs. 600 from protein and 550 from fats, which comes to a total of 2260 calories. Let's check in our fitness pal how many we've had today. So we had 1570 calories today, 2260 minus 500, 1571, 689 calories. All right, and we do have one meal left for sure which is quark. This is a very high fat, high calorie meal. It is 7.8 grams of fat per hundred, 3.6 carbs and 6.6 .6 protein. So if we times that times five, the total calories per hundred grams is 1100, uh, is 111. So times that times five, which comes down to 555 so, calories. We've had 20 grams of fat, 125 grams of protein and 202 grams of carbs. Now we're gonna add this meal for sure, which is gonna bring our fats to 60 total, 59. So we're gonna put that here, 60 total. Uh, the protein is gonna be 157 total. And um, our carbs are gonna be at 220. So 280, 220. So we need 60 more carbs. Put that here. Protein, we're already over our protein, which is minus seven. And fats, we are exactly there. One gram of fat. So let's say this is zero. All right, just for a video, we'll just put this on zero. Now we have this total is 53 times four is 212 calories left. 212 calories, which we need in carbs because uh, we're already over our protein, so we don't need more protein, but we need still 60 grams of carbs. And now we, uh, because we're over the proteins, we have to just uh, detract that from the 60. So 50 grams of carbs we still need. I hope this is not very dark, but I do have a couple products that can help us with our carbs that are very low in everything else. The first one is gonna be crackers. These are caramel flavored snack jacks I love to eat them, and the macros are super carb friendly. So per snack jack, per rice cake, whatever you're gonna call it, 12 grams of carbs and 0.7 grams of protein. So this is a really good one. So 12, we should eat like three, four. We can eat four and a half rice cakes 
to fill up these carbs. Four and a half snack and jacks, then I'll have all my carbs, but it is 7.40 p.m. and I just kind of ate an hour ago. Feeling kind of hungry, but I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna be super, super hungry later at night. So in about two hours, I'll probably eat the snack and jacks and then a couple hours after that, I'm gonna eat the quark and then go to bed. So yeah, hope this makes sense, this whole thing. Okay, it's 9.25, I am starving. I am starving, starving, like I'm so hungry, it's insane. So I'm having two rice cakes and that looks like nothing. And it's true, it's nothing. And the problem is, I've been watching some Gordon Ramsay videos. <laughs> I'm just so incredibly hungry. It's midnight and I will go to bed very soon. And that's why I want to have my last meal. Now, the reason why I have my last meals um, so late is because it's quark and quark is a casein protein, which is a slow releasing protein, uh, which is really good to take before you go to bed. Because once you go to bed and your body goes to sleep, it starts the recovery process of the muscles. It's probably my favorite moment of the day because it's so tasty. I love it so much. It's very creamy. It sounds really sus, but um, it is a very nice meal to have. It's very nasty when you just eat it like this. I mean, it's not really nasty. It's not like eating shit. Not that I have any, whatever. It's obviously not as good as you um, want it to be. So I add a sweetener, a syrup, which you mix it with water, you get like whatever, lemonade, whatever. But this is a zero sugar one. So I'm gonna add this, mix it up, and then eat it, and it's a whole tub. It fills me up really nicely. After that, I can sh go straight to bed, feel super nice. Um, so yeah, um, I hope you find this video, I hope you learned something from this video. If you are struggling with your diet and don't know what to eat, I do offer online coaching, and I, will c I can help you with your calories and your macros and all that. I can help you figure out everything. Um, but yeah, if you find this helpful, please leave a thumbs up on this video. I really like and appreciate that. Peace out and sneeze out. Ciao!